Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Vice here from Auckland, New Zealand. And in this video, we're going to be driving around Auckland from specifically Meadowbank. That's the suburb close to Auckland Central. We're going to be driving from Meadowbank to city center and observing the things around. All right, let's begin. So right in front of the screen, you can see the map of Auckland and the red marking is the Meadowbank suburb. And now you can see the time it takes on the Google map from uh, Middlebank to uh, Auckland Central. Let's dive in driving onto the roads and as you can see the trees on the right and left hand side of the roads are the beautiful looking cherry blossom trees with some pink flowers. These trees usually blossom during the month of august and september and since we are in september we can witness the beauty this suburb is uh, very famous and very rich i would say uh, suburb um, so many cars parked around it's a weekend and people are just staying home I really like how well organized this place is not all the suburbs look like this if you drive around Auckland so soon we are getting close towards the end of this street uh, there won't be any more cherry blossoms because I've been on this street before but you can still see the beautiful location uh, the houses how how nicely they have been built how well planned they are obviously all the dustbins it's a bin collection day So we are here at the end of the road now and moving forward we're gonna be going through a couple of hill climbs if you know if you if you look into a little bit of uh, history and geography of Auckland um, it's been built on a hilly area so there are a lot of driving up and going driving down um, yeah uh, the trekking I would say a trekking place if you're walking around so basically living in Auckland um, is pretty good uh, Auckland is not very advanced in terms of um, infrastructure as you can see in other countries but if you want a relaxed and peaceful life this is the best place for you if you want a party uh, probably not a great place now we are on the main street and driving in our lane we we can see there is t3 lane on the left hand side well if you have three people in your car you can drive on that lane but at the moment I don't have three people in my car usually the speed for driving is 50 kilometers in the um, suburbs 30 kilometers per hour and as you can see everyone is driving peacefully not chasing driving is pretty chilled out but you still have to follow a lot of rules especially if you're coming from overseas there's a lot of rules that you need to follow but once you follow the rules it gets really really easy I, re I really love the townhouses and the way the houses are built the, the city is planned and while driving through you can feel the calmness you feel like you're driving for a holiday isn't it now we are coming up to a small shopping center so a mini market a couple of convenience stores around you 
can see some restaurants cafes it's not a big mall area at the moment so you can see a lot of convenience stores around just a little bit heavy on traffic since we are approaching the main motorway and love this lane pretty straight beautiful trees on the both the sides everyone following their speed following rules is uh, one of the most important thing and kiwis uh, follow rules driving here is like a therapy you don't have to rush until you're unless of course you're driving on the motorway during the rush hours so on your left hand side you can see those big trees without a single leaf on it it's just during the seasons the trees are shedding all the leaves now we are approaching towards the roundabout and i want to show you how it goes on the roundabout this is one of the busiest roundabout i would say but the thing is um, everyone loves giving way to people no one is rushing as i said giving way is one of the important uh, aspects while you drive here so right now we are going towards the Auckland CBD and we are just passing through the roundabout so if you take the one on the left hand side you are going to a different suburb see well this is not even a giveaway for this car but they are just polite as I said Kiwis are polite and um, they will give you a way to go right uh, you can see, uh, I'm sure you must have seen the board for Auckland and uh, we are just going on the motorway lane the cars going on the right hand side the cars passing on the other other way are going towards the Hamilton side and you can see there is a green signal everyone is following the rules again each green signal there is one car each lane so as soon as there's a green signal the cars gonna give way whoever is going faster the slow car gonna follow behind and that's how it's gonna merge to the other way and i really enjoy driving in auckland i mean people who are living in the other parts of new zealand they hate auckland because they think that it's too busy but especially me coming from a other different country which is overly crowded but this is nothing so i'm pretty happy and now it's my turn there's the red line as i said they gave the way moist properly now it's my turn so this car was on the left a little bit faster than me so i let him merge first and then i follow him behind now slowly we are gonna go on the right hand lane and just keep following as you can see on the left hand side there is a train station it's not a train station it's a train lane where the trains going up and down well as at the moment there is no train coming but usually that's the train lane 
and the red signals on the left hand side are the signals for the train now we are at market road and this is exit number 432 we're just gonna keep going So if I take left, I'll be going to Market Road, which is also close to the Auckland Central, but I want to go a little bit more closer, so I'm going to follow 430 exit. I like how green New Zealand is. Everywhere, trees planted fresh air to breathe now we are on the bridge and no we are reaching the bridge and once we reach the bridge you can see on the right hand side there is the sky tower so that's the sign that you are close to the city that's 80 kilometers per hour speed so before this it was 100 km see the bridge the houses and the businesses on the left hand side is like built on a hill and the sky tower on the right hand side we are getting closer to the sky tower just after the bridge there would be a left hand merge that will be our exit if we go further and take the exit further down that will go right in the heart of the city but since the destination is different we'll be following the exit that's coming now now this is our exit we're gonna merge on left hand side it's Khyber Pass Road 430 this is a tricky one where people from the left hand side want to go on right and from the if you're taking an exit you have to go on the left so yeah we are merging the lane now after letting the truck pass through and this is our Khyber Pass Road 430 exit we're gonna slowly slow down our speed and as we approach the signal we'll be going down to 50 kilometers per hour we are good the signal is green so we're just gonna take left straight away and now we are entering the borders of the city center we are pretty close to the city center So as soon as you enter here as you can see there are these business blocks business buildings I would say not many houses there's a church on the right and the left hand size side so this is what most of the infrastructure gonna look like while you're driving around even in the city center There are a lot of buildings that are pretty old built, I would say, but it has its own charm. Oh, you're lucky. See the ambulance in New Zealand. These are the yellow and green. These are the two different types of ambulances. At least I could show that to you. we are pretty close to our destination right so i would say um, the sky tower is just less than 
six to seven minutes drive from here I will show you see you can see how close you can see the sky tower all right guys uh, this is the end of our destination and we're gonna be stopping the video soon but before I go I would like to say thank you so much for your time for watching this video and if you like this video please like and subscribe because that helps me out a lot and I will see you next time till then you stay safe stay happy and drive safely